I still have to plant these periwinkles. But the snowdrops are all blooming, as are the hellebores. They're about to. So these are varieties of snowy drops. Snowy drops that I've collected over the years. And hydrangeas are in here. And here's one of my rain collecting water tanks. And I've got some bigger ones that I think I might replace there. But this is my dry garden, which is in the parking area. And lots of valerian grows here. And there's the winter flowering iris. I planted there a few years ago, but it's it takes a few years to get going. And then there's some ferns that I planted. See, there's some ferns. So, and here's some more irises. That's another iris there. And these, uh, these are all valerian in here. And these are some mallow. And I'm going to have to chop these down now or soon so that I can rake up the leaves so that their young can come up. So there's some lavender in there. Oh, you can see here, this is a columbine. That's a dandelion. Then this is some honesty. So I'm trying to get honesty to grow here as well. And here's one of those succul... Oh, this is uh, some more columbine. And there's some lavender that I've just planted. And there's one of the iris stagliosa, the winter flowering iris. But I've planted the lavender in here in this corner because it's very dry and sunny. And there are the chickens. So, and the chickens just got mucked out recently. So this is chicken muck that'll go into the garden. But my dry garden is slowly developing on. This was completely bare about five, six years ago. So it's uh, getting there, developing slowly but surely is my dry garden. And this area, there's my thyme. This is what one of my times that I make thyme tea from here. But you can see here the um, evening primrose. This is the kind of uh, verbascum mullum type character. This is some yarrow here that I've let sow more seed. There's daisies. So these are all plants that enjoy the dry garden. There's a bit of grass, but I'm going to weed that out because I want the yarrows and the mullins and the evening primroses. Here's an artichoke that could probably come out because whatever the birds are going to eat have eaten. This is um, mallow. It's kind of a tall geranium type thing. The green there, that's honeysuckle. So all along here are varieties of dry... Um, <laughs> you're worried about that. The cock is going to chew you, is it? So there's ladies mantle buried in under there that's not coming out yet. But this is my dry garden and all the daisies and stuff. Slowly but surely it'll, um, uh, it's been filling out and I'm really pleased with it. It's really looking good. And the vines over the uh, fence, those are, uh, um, a cyclamen, sorry, not a cyclamen. What am I talking about? Egypt. They're a clematis, Montana, which covers it all over at one stage, passion flower, and a wisteria. So it's a combination of three vines. So it has flowers at different times of year. And this is a lovely tree that's planted in here that has beautiful uh, purple leaves when the time comes. So that is my dry garden and um, the hen run garden, if you will. Slowly but surely, these things are evolving. And over here is more trees and shrubs growing 
and my more most recent potted plant is full of tulips so I'm really looking forward to that this spring well sorry later this spring when the tulips come up it'll look really good and over here you can see the witch hazel is just so stunning but over here these are the snowdrops that I grew from seed you can see they're gonna fill out this whole embankment or at least that's what I'm looking forward to you can see all the snowdrops everywhere. I forgot to mention this Cotonia aster, which I grew from a seed. And there's more along here, along the wall, really tiny babies that, um, I don't know if I can spot them. They're just little stems. Oh, there's one. Very, very babies. So that's only two years old two or three years old. So it'll take a while for them to grow. But, um, oh, here's another one. Here's another one. So those will go up the wall is the intention. But this one took about, this is kind of eight or nine years old. So over time, the, they'll grow and the point is, that they'll go up the wall and the berries birds love the berries they most of they've eaten most of the berries now off of this one but that wall will have these red berried bushes or shrubs or whatever you want to call them going all along the wall with uh, winter stagliosa irises and then in the spring it gets a flush of the beautiful verbena and then the mullins and evening primrose and um, the passion flower. So it's trying to get as much biodiversity in a dry garden uh, as well as around the chickens. So that's the parking area garden, what I'm working on at the moment, or slowly but surely over the years. Isn't that right? Slowly but surely. You chewing poor Maya. Oh, oh yeah. Oh.